Hi, my name is Connor. I'm from the Lee Lab, and today we will make an egg roast gel. So to start, you first need to weigh out uh, your desired percentage of egg roast. So the weighing dishes are in this box here, or the bigger ones are there. So turn it on first. You can start weighing your egg roasts. So calculate beforehand how much egg roast you'll need, and it all depends on what percentage gel that you want to make. Okay, so once you get the egg roast you need, just turn that off, and then pour it in like a 125 mil Erlenmeyer flask. <coughs> You just go in the garbage with uh, 50 mils of TBE or TAE, depending on uh, what you need. Pour that into your Erlenmeyer with the egg roasts. Mix around a little bit and then put it in the microwave. For higher percent gels, you just want to keep an eye on it um, because the, the heat will uh, allow the egg roast to dissolve. But if you heat it for too long, it can boil over. So just start, I guess, with around a minute. Use a paper towel to hold the egg or hold the Erlenmeyer because it's going to be really hot. You don't want to uh, burn yourself. So you can fold it a few times just to grab it around the, the neck. Okay, you can see it's pretty much clear. So that means. Uh, can start pouring it. So grab one of these casting uh, apparatuses and the um, gel uh, mold holder uh, and then you can just put it in here and tighten it and then you can mix um, your stain in the glass. Uh, so you can use Cyber Safe that's uh, just in this tube rack here. So it's 10,000 times concentrated. So to get to one times, so I'm just going to add five uh, microliters because my volume is 50 mils. So give it a little bit of a mix and then you can pour it in. And then take your comb, there are more combs over here, and just place it in the egg roast like that. And then just wait for it to set. Um, you want to wash your um, flask right away so the egg roast doesn't harden in the flask. And then just wait for your gel to uh, solidify and then you can run it with buffer in the running apparatus. So after the gel is finished polymerizing, I put it in the casting apparatus and then I put the 1x TBE uh, in just until it covers the gel and then I loaded my sample. So now I'm uh, ready to run it. So I'm going to make sure that uh, the gel is in the correct direction. So it'll be going from negative to positive or black to red. So close the lid and then plug the leads in. Make sure they're in all the way. And then I'm gonna set the voltage to 100. Usually between 90 and 100 is a good range. Um, the higher the voltage though, 
the hotter it's going to get so you don't want your gel to melt in the apparatus and then you can just run it. Okay, so when your gel is done, you can turn it off and then unplug the leads and you can remove your gel from the apparatus, just drain some of the buffer. And then this can just go down the sink and rinse with water. And then the gel itself you can analyze either in the Typhoon, in the CMCB, or uh, in the blue light in the dark room. So I could show you what it would look like under the blue light.